Look, ma'am. Well, now I need to speak about something. I love Blizzard. I want to play Blizzard games. But here's here's the situation now. I want to make a comparison between Riot and Blizzard. So last night I was doing some research because the level of monetization as a new player, it just sounds a little bit harsh to me. And here's the thing, guys. So people can look at my opinion as, oh, I'm a schmuck on the internet. You know what? You are a schmuck you on the internet. Seriously, seriously, which is true, which is true. We're just two random nerds playing online games. But guess what? We are the people that play the games and our opinion matters at the end of the day. We might not be the smartest or might be the smartest, but we are the people that play the game and make the game alive. Well, and we're kind of the people who they are trying to get to come in exactly. because we're newer to the game. And that's the other point I want to mention. We're the new people. A lot of the people in World of Warcraft, I found out, not going to say all, but a lot of them are those most people that have experience. How am I being... Just, just hear me out. Hear me out. How many people are newcomers? So I'm a guy that claimed to have experience with video games and I'm a newcomer to the game but one of the things I've been seeing is the amount of monetization which is I have to pay subscription I have to pay for the game and there is a shop and the shop guys it's not cheap like things is like $25 for a transfer account or whichever that's 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 steep for someone that's a newcomer really trying to understand and learn the game um one mount is 20 25 dollars that's yes that's crazy but there is a new game coming out by Riot which is MMO game and I will guess it's gonna be free to play look at all Riot games what they do it's a free game and then you buy skins and stuff in the game um some people will come and debate and says well you can buy that monthly subscription using gold again you're talking about the people that play the game know the game been in the game i'm a new guy coming to the game so let's just go through something that i was doing on google trends again before i start this i'm not the most experienced i am not work with anyone or have any skin with anyone i'm just a guy that did some online research and this is my perspective let's look at fortnite and look at pubg over here guys fortnite and pubg the games those two games came at the same time more or less like for pubg when it came in a few months before fortnite the fortnite came with a free-to-play model pubg you have to pay for it look at the uh, google trend that happened blue is fortnite this is the trend of a free model let's go for another one league of legends dota 2 here's of new earth if there is any game that i used to play quite a lot there are mobas i used to be a huge heroes of new earth it came after dota one that came out this game came for with money you have to pay for it to just start playing the game and it had shop in it league of legends on the other hand free to play look what's going on it was it was relatively not too much far from heroes of new earth and dota 2 was already a big name by the way before of league of legends that's how it started the genre of moba look at league of legends now we're not going to talk about it you guys understand what i'm going with this this is the google trends Let's discuss about another game that came one for money, one free. Diablo 3 versus Path of Exile. Just got the big spike on Google Trends and then, you know, started going down. Path of Exile at the same time started to pop up. Look what's going on. One for money, again, one for free. Look at all over the slope on Fortnite. Look at all over the slope of PUBG. PUBG went up, up, started to struggle and starts to go down again. Look at Valorant. I'm going to zoom in later. Look at Valorant. starts to go up. Call of Duty. And that's my point where I start to want to compare between Riot Games and Blizzard. Call of Duty. Massive name. Massive fucking name, guys. Look when Valorant came out almost the same range. And here is Call of Duty. Did not really exceed too much than what Valorant is doing. But also to pay to play this game. Look where Valorant Valorant is, look what Call of Duty is, almost double the popularity. I'm talking about just genres of two models, free to play, and you have to pay to play. Here's the Valorant, here's the Overwatch 1, Overwatch 2, Overwatch when it came out, it was such a big hit. Slide, and this is just an overall comparison between Blizzard and Riot, in terms of search terms on Google. Here's Blizzard, the king, the lord, no one can beat these guys at the beginning, at the beginning, at the beginning. This is the massive year for Riot Games, they were great. Growing, 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 growing while Blizzard popularity starts to a little bit go down, down, down. And then 2020 is a crazy year for Riot Gaming. So many games came out. Valorant, Legend of Runeterra, and Team Time Factics was around the time. I think a little bit before it or so. It was just a big time. And it's the same model. All games are free to play. Now, here is my point. Now, I've been saying all these things for the past, whatever, five, ten minutes. Here is my point. There will be an MMO coming out. And it's by Riot Games. Back in the past 10, 15 years, there will be any new game MMO come out. Oh, we think that this is what it's got the last nail in the coffin. Wow. And it never happened. Okay. I'm telling you, Blizzard, be careful with what's going on with Riot Gaming. If there is the new MMO, 
MMO by Riot Games, this time is going to be different. And the level of monetization that you do in World of Warcraft as a new player coming to play, subscription, buy the game, expensive shop, I, I think you need to be very careful. This is not how Riot Games follow that model. I'm saying this again one more time, not hate about Blizzard. I want Blizzard to have an amazing game. I want Riot Games to have an amazing game too. I'm going to play that MMO when it comes out. But I want nice competition. But what I, I know Riot Games, when they're going to come out with a game, it's going to be big. So I don't know what, where, if anyone, I'm going to put this on YouTube, if this goes to someone. I hope you take this from a perspective of someone that knew to the game and it's very important and yes you need to listen to me because i'm rep i represent some some group of players and that's it